Unlimited yams. There's unlimited yams. Yams for all. One in, one, once a yam, always a yam. I forgot there's no music here. Um, it's fine. It's not like I'm totally unprepared or I was totally late. It's not like I'm supposed to be putting my starting soon up screen up at 8.50. Um, because the whole thought process was I'd be up for three hours. Um, the thing about the yam redeem is I was going to put in the description, if you know, you know. If you yam, you yam. I should really make like a channel redeem reward like goal for the next 30 days of like to please the rage baby pickle squid or whatever. What? I know only bits can appease the rage baby pickle squab. But it's fine. Okay, I am very unprepared for today's stream. And by that I mean I don't know what we're shiny hunting for. I want to say Gulpin is in this game. So I want to say we're going to do Gulpin. Because we did... Or do we want to do Iron Thorns still? Because we were doing Iron Thorns. And we didn't get it. And we were doing an electric one. Yeah, we can do Iron Thorns first. And then go from there. I'm still going to resave just in case. Resave that cutie badooty cutie patootie booty little shooty also bandit how if you're still here how was the rest of your stream how was how was just dance Duns oh no we're not doing that today i have to like i that is a prep day stream i have to prep for that because i need to oh fuck what is electric again is it hmm Duns <laughs> Tomorrow, tomorrow, we can do... No, tomorrow's gonna be the rest of one shot. At, I was gonna say after one shot, but I'm not gonna torment myself enough. And if it wasn't for the fact that I basically have to get up at like 8 in the morning on Friday, um, I'd be down. Yeah, I have to get up at 8 in the morning on Friday. Because I have to meet T at Josh's by 9 for breakfast. Yeah, I know. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but Dunsparce is not today. It's, it's, too, it's too much. The issue with Dunsparce is that with these new streams, a Squavit has spawned. With the new streams and with trying to, like, stick to a schedule... Um, then you have to use quick balls, bandit, bandit, the jet, the tweet was funny, but I will never forsake in my fucking shinies with a quick ball. I would rather shank myself live on stream. I'm not going to do that though. Then use a quick ball. <laughs> Yam. <laughs> yam, yam, yam. I think that should be every time someone does yam, I just say yam three times in Bud's voice. I'm going to tip your sandwich. Please don't. But no. So the issue with... The issue with um the Dunsparce thing is if I don't prep it before stream, I'm basically wasting a third of stream unless I get lucky looking for the hunt. And then I I lose a third of stream to just looking for the hunt. I'm gonna kill this dog. I make you your own fucking redeem. And you waste my sandwich. How dare you? How now, brown cow? But yeah, no. I I definitely will do Dunsparce. Today's Wednesday. Well, I did what? Shiny, I did shiny hunting on Monday, right? And I did one shot, and then I did. Now I'm shiny hunting again. 
Should I do one shot on Thursday or should I wait till I'm going? Get out of here. <laughs> The issue is, is he goes under my desk and then he's like, what? I didn't do anything wrong. Dad, stop being fucking weird. Freak. But yeah, that's literally what my dog does. He goes under my desk and then he looks at me as if I'm fucking crazy when I'm like, please stop. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, we're definitely gonna do Dun Sparse again. Don't get me wrong on that. Dun Sparse will happen again. When? I don't actually know that much. But it will happen again. Mm. I did forget how much I didn't like hunting over here, but it's fine. We'll... I have to look below. I have to look here. Bandit left because I refuse to do Dunsparce because it takes too much time. It really does take way too much time. That's the main reason why I don't want to do it. I'm a lurk. I got to make dinner. Ooh, what's for dinner before you leave? Before you lurk, what's for dinner? Do 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 do. I do still. I don't know. Oh no. Well, what do you have in the house? What's in the house? What's in the house? House. Eggs. Soup. Ooh, what kind of soup? Noodles. What kind of soup is a good soup? Tell me your ingredients and I will help. That is true. If you tell Mike the ingredients, Mike will tell you what you could make. Creamy chicken lentil. Ooh. I will say, Mike did make an audible mm, when, you, when you said that. We had quesadillas tonight. I need more spices. Oh no, what spices do you have? How dare thou not have less spice? I will say, no, for the soup, I need more spices. Uh... I'm not a cook, so the extent of me helping is saying, oh, ah, mm. cumin is good for lentil or curry powder. That is true, but it'd be with the creamy chicken. Touche. I didn't put enough in when I made it. Oh, because it's a oof. Do you have curry or, or cumin? Cumin? Do you have cumin? Do you have cumin or, or curry? Can you add cumin or curry to it? Little lemon, little salt, little cumin, little coriander. Yes, but we were told that the spices are limited, so we have to be. I have cumin. Ooh, do you have coriander and lemon? I uh, you definitely have salt, so I'm not even gonna ask. And if you don't have salt, I, I don't. <laughs> I'm sad for you, and I have a shit ton of spices. Oh, also buy some MSG. Makes, that is true. We literally bought MSG and we put that shit in fucking everything. Also, we haven't used it a ton in cooking, 
but nutritional yeast with like like very lightly salted popcorn and like a tiny bit of butter also is fantastic because that's mainly what we use our nutritional yeast for. My mom buys a lot of really weird things and then they live in her cabinet for the rest of eternity. So we steal them. We steal the stuff. Sorry, Linda. I also think it's really funny. My mom, <laughs> my mom likes her own posts on face on, on Instagram with her with her uh her personal account she likes all of her business posts with her personal account and i'm like it you can follow but i was like uh, mom the like does not is not going to help boost it like unless mind you i think she also thinks that like she's reaching more people with the post too and i don't have the heart to tell her that unless she's paying money to like actually have them boost her posts like it, it's not gonna have I have sage, rosemary, and thyme in it. Okay. If those are in it, Mike, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. So maybe not come in. <laughs> Couldn't you go the curry route, though, with those? Or you wouldn't? No. No curry route. Okay. No more sage. Could get soapy taste. That is true. It could get soapy garlic do you have garlic garlic gargle gargle gar gargalac what that's a pokemon no, gargalac gar gargalanac you don't believe me Garganackle. Tell me it's not close enough. <laughs> Bitch, get out of here. It's a it's a Minecraft character. <laughs> get out of here. I wasted 30 seconds of my sandwich for that. Worth every every second. Oh yeah, that death's in there, law. At least two tablespoons minced garlic. You have two tablespoons minced garlic? You could do more though, I feel like a little bit. Cause two tablespoons what? Basically like two two to three cloves, depending on how big the cloves were. But then again, I'm also we're also not there to taste it, and Mike is definitely the chef over me. So maybe some lemon or fry up some tomato paste in some olive oil and add the soup to it. I do not. I want to say that there's probably not tomato paste. There's. I assume they probably don't have that cheese either. <laughs> Not everyone's Italian. I actually, all right, what is your heritage, Bandit, if you don't mind me asking? I don't actually think I know. But yeah, we have like a tube of tomato paste. We have, we have that cheese parm. Parm's close enough, right? Yeah, parm would work. Parm could work. That uma it's the the thing that I think is so funny is when I hear umami, I think of like Japanese because that's where it comes from. But like it's such a I feel like it's such a universal term now, especially like for people who are cooking. Because like that is a very big issue that I feel like people have with their cooking is that they just don't like they don't add basically enough like salt slash flavor to it. So you try to like subsidize it with other things, but but yeah, I would I would recommend getting a bag of MSG. It changed our lives, and if anyone ever tries to tell you that they have an MSG allergy, they're bullshit liars. Because <laughs> I don't think it's an actual thing. I just have my silver boy. It's true. They wouldn't be able to eat so. Yeah, because, like, MSG is in, like, Doritos and, like.
Yeah, but a lot of people say they have an, a quote-unquote MSG allergy because it came from when it was, like, people trying to, like, be low-key racist towards, like, Chinese company, like, Chinese food chains and stuff. And, like, it's literally a, a fucking hodgepodge bullshit hocus-pocus, but, like, so many people still believe that it's, like, an actual thing, and it's, like, uh, no, 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 that's not... We're not here for that. But yeah, MSG is great. I know you don't have it though. But yeah, parm, a little bit of lemon, like Mike said. Um, I think normal olive oil would be fine, but I don't remember what flavored olive oil Mike said to use. I think we only have tomato sauce because I haven't made the tiki masala chicken. Oh. Gotcha. I remember that shit looked so good when you made it. And it wasn't even plated that nicely, but damn, I would I would shove that in. Zabor's not here, so I can call my mouth a mouth hole as much as I want. My face hole? Is that what I was calling it? No, Zabor, Zabor's at um, six skater stream or asleep. Or maybe at one of their friend streams where they also like got over that. Oh my god, it was so funny when they came in with eight heckin' bears and they were like, you think I'm bad at bandits? Imagine me at this person's. And I'm like, oh god. It was like, how can you get worse? How can you be more horny? <laughs> Fun fact, Zabor's actually here. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> what game? What fucking game? I'm literally going to shit myself. <laughs> As I'm like... As I'm like watches the boys just like here hanging out. Why are you no Zabor? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not. I just came in. Okay, don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. I'm fucking screaming. It's funny you say that because I literally played DVD again for the first time in God. I don't fucking know like four or five months today. And I only died twice, and I played like seven games, so I, I feel accomplished. And I still ran the fucking killer around. But also, fuck you and the laughing mic in the background, jerks. No, Zabor, I was, I was teasing about how I said, I don't remember why, I said, Zabor's not here, and then I was like, it's I, Zabor's, I basically was like, Zabor's either asleep or at mouth hole. Yeah, I was talking about mouth hole. Ammonite has spawned. I was talking about my mouth hole. I wanted to play DVD, but I I danced longer. Oof. I played today. I was playing with Ty. We we played with their their friend uh, Noed. Something I don't remember their friend's name. Um, but like we did pretty well. I only died twice. Blarg. But yeah, I was talking about my mouth hole because Mike was helping Bandit uh, fix. Um, his soup, because Bandit said his soup was a little bland. And I was saying that, and then I was like, oh god, but wait. I was like, Zabor's not here, so I can say that. And then I was like, and Mike was like, well, Zabor's gonna come. And I was like, I don't know about that. And then I basically was like, Zabor is either at Six Skaters stream, or, or is at one of your other friend's streams. And then I was talking about how you were like, when you were like, if you think I'm bad in Bandit stream, you should see me in, in 8 Heckin' Bears stream. Mouth hole. <laughs> and then you literally, like, as I'm talking about that, I stopped, I paused for a second, and I was like, watches the boards just, like, watching, and hasn't said anything, and then comes in. But you weren't lurking, you literally came, you literally came in the second I was saying that, which is why we both fucking died. Well, I guess all three of us, because even Bandit said "wah" <laughs> in fucking chat. I'm sorry. Look, it's not my fault that I just want to face fuck my mouth hole with chips and quesadillas 
and any any form of food that I enjoy because it's, it's what pleases me. I'll stop though. I'll stop for you, Zabor, while you're here so that you don't leave. <laughs> I don't want to upset you to the point where you're like, bye. <laughs> and then you come back like in 17 years and you're like, I remember in 2023. Yeet. Self in a corner. <laughs> I have a dunce cap. Do you need it? I hate it because I love it here. I'm so sorry. I'll try to behave. I'll behave. I'll behave for now. Like, legit, I'm here most <laughs> nights. I'm trying to stick to a schedule. I'm trying to be a good bean. The only thing I haven't really followed on my schedule is I've skimped out on some of the... I've skimped out on some of my, my Twitter posts that I'm supposed to do. I haven't posted any of the VOD posts. And <gasps> a rainbow. And I haven't posted literally any of the TikToks I've supposed to do this this week. You missed a pretty decent indie game. Ooh, yeah, one shot. It's so beautiful. Also, Bandit, yeah, I'm actually worse in 8 Heckin' Bear stream than in yours. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, we played a game last night called, called One Shot. Uh, if you have ever played, like, Undertale, it's very Undertale-esque. It was really cute. We got, like, halfway. I want to say we're, we're halfway or more than halfway through the game. Uh, and I'm probably going to finish it tomorrow. I think that's going to be tomorrow's stream. And then if we finish it on stream, uh, if we have enough time, I'll probably swap to, like, Pokemon or something. I'm not actually 100% sure on that yet. But we have that going for us tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then Saturday is going to be Jackbox. And then I'm not 100% sure or not. But Mike and I have talked about Mike doing takeover streams on Friday nights. Uh, cause Mike still wants his Saturday and Sunday and I've basically already like convinced Mike to give me his Saturday night because if I'm playing Jackbox, that means that Mike will basically be here either a mon like moderating or B uh, actually playing because Mike does enjoy Jackbox. So, uh, that's something you guys can look forward to. And then, yeah, other than that, I've just kind of been like a little lazy with like, my my posting on on tiktok and that's because like i wanted last sunday to be when i like sat down and i like, kind of prepped everything for the week so i didn't have to worry about it really during the week um and then i didn't wake up early and then we had mike's aunt's birthday uh, 75th birthday and then and then we came home and i was tired because long car rides make me sheepy after i've had food so and when it's dark so i i i kind of like just hung out with mike and then we started wednesday on monday i think monday we started wednesday on monday we're on episode four so highly recommend no we're gonna be on episode five we just finished four very good show though highly recommend it's been very good so far but yeah Basically, long, long story short, I have, like, a second YouTube channel I need to, to fix up still that I haven't done yet. And I have... Oop, and I haven't done TikTok yet, and I've been, like, slacking on Twitter. But, I mean, hey, Instagram is, like, kind of popping off a little bit. I mean, my post today, I think, netted me, like, 10 to like 15 followers or something like that i don't remember it was a fair bit though comparatively to like like usually i'll get anywhere from like one to like three followers maybe on instagram during a post and like half of the time my instagram followers that i get are like they're either graphic designers who are looking to like uh do work for people or they're just like those 
those bot promoter accounts like i have a secondary instagram for like pokemon and i posted like my pikmin code and stuff because i've still been like actively playing that because it's such a passive game um and i basically was like this is probably going to be one of the only non-pokemon posts but for anyone who wants to play this game i've been playing this blah 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 xyz and I think the reason why I like the Pikmin game so much is because, one, it's nostalgic to me because I played a shit ton of Pikmin when I was younger. Um, but besides even just, like, the aspect of Pikmin, uh, I, I think games like the Pikmin game, which is, you know, it still uses a similar, like, thought process as the... Um, as like Pokemon Go does. And I still at least log in to like get my daily catch on Pokemon Go. And I try to do my daily swipes at least. I don't get all seven because on the weekends if I don't go anywhere. There isn't a there isn't a Pokestop close enough without me like basically needing to walk all the way down the street. And I'm a lazy bitch. Uh, which is fine. But I think I enjoy the, the Pikmin game so much specifically because, to me, it's basically, although, like, it's it's as simplistic as just, like, a, a step counter, right? Like, there isn't really any wide gimmick in it. I mean, at level, like, it's just that, and then eventually you get excursions, so when you're, like, walking around and whatnot, you can get more Pikmin, you can get more things this, than the other from just walking around, XYZ, blah, 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 blah. At level 15, you're able to start fighting, like, these mushroom clusters that spawn everywhere, and that's when you can, like, send your Pikmin out to, like, go get, like, attack them. And I'm still so low level that, like, I don't really get any, like, decent rewards from them. And, like, any anyone can join those. Those aren't, like, the, the weekly challenges where you have to either, like, A, be invited or B, uh, be a part of it. Like, you have to either start it or you have to invite them. The, <sighs> the mushrooms, though, are, like... If it started, anyone anyone is free to join up to five people, and then like depending on the size of the mushroom depends on how long. Excuse me, it takes to to kill. Excuse me, but like it's cute. I don't know. For me, for me, the Pikmin game, even though it is just a step counter, it's still like a quote unquote in a sense like an augmented reality game. And, like, I'm not looking to find people who are, like, as, like, heavily involved into the Pikmin game as I am. Like, I probably have, I probably devote, like, 15, 20 minutes of screen time to it just because I like feeding my flowers to my, like, the nectar to my Pikmin to get the flowers. And there's the Lunar New Year's event that's happening right now. But games like that, which are as interesting as like pokemon right as like pokemon go but the thing that i like about it when it gets warmer i'll do it i mean you can you can be like ty i mean or like mike um because like ty and mike put the like put it on but the only walking that ty really does is like around the house to, like when when they go to and from work and like the the one time they walk their dog each day like before the end of the night because they so like they don't walk like a ton but they're still getting decent decent steps and like same thing with mike mike only does it when um when he's around the house and when he goes out to to walk the walk the dog so like it, it's small small steps here and there but to me how i look at games like that is like all you have to do is basically open the app and leave it running in the background and I'm not 100% sure with iPhones, but I know for a fact that there is an app on Androids that will count your steps, and those steps will sync over to Pikmin Bloom. And I'm assuming that there is probably something in on our phones that does the same thing, which is fine. But how i how i see it is just kind of like uh 
It's basically a game that you get to play with your friends 24-7. Because, like, all even though it's just step counting, like, you're all actively, like, trying to reach, like, a, a greater goal. And I can't believe I'm about to, like, say, say it reminds me of this. But it kind of reminds me of the Facebook ant colony group where, like, every person in the Facebook group just pretends to be, like, another ant in the ant colony. Um, <laughs> and, like, people in the Facebook group, like, try to, like, do goals and achieve things based off of, like, the power of everyone being quote-unquote an ant, which is, like, so weird. But I don't know. It's like a it's like a twenty four seven game that you basically get to always play with your friends. Um, I don't know what else there is in it. Like my highest friend is level like fifty eight or something, and I don't know how long they've been playing. But I I'm level 16 I know or 17 I know you get the mushrooms at level 15 which I believe unlocks like quote unquote most of the stuff. I do think it's a little annoying that it takes until level 15 to unlock like what I assume is like a fairly like decent part of the game. Like you you can send your Pikmin out on three excursions. <gasps> Like you can you can send them out on three excursions a day, but at the end of the day, um, like you can send them on three mushroom excursions. Hello, cutie boy. Hello. Before I do this, is, what's what's its abilities? You use a fight. You're 54, so it's Bite, Charge, Rock Slide, and Sandstorm. I don't think you kill yourself. But yeah, I don't know. To me, it's just kind of like... Is it ground? It's electric rock, right? Does it buff itself with Sandstorm? It doesn't. But yeah, that's, that's just how I see it. Is it's like a game you get to play with everyone. And I just think it's cute. And you have like, like you get like the daily walking thing. So it shows you like where you, where you like planted flowers, where you walked, like how much you walked. You can like rate it like the day and how good it was. I'm literally doing mine right now. Snowy and And I like, I... I like mark like how the weather was and stuff and that's how I affect my like my my face in it but yeah I don't know I think it's cute it's fun the lunar events cute I it has like a weekly thing too a, po a ponyta has spawned But yeah, that's just my thing. I think it's cute. I think it's a game that everyone should play. I am getting worried about Ty though. They're ca they're like catching up to the steps. And I'm like, how do you even walk around that much at work? Well, yeah, he works at a, a nail salon. They they get to they walk around probably the most all day comparatively they don't want like if i if i go for a full hour long walk with my like if it's not shitty enough and i don't cut the walk to like 45 minutes like i i do on crappy days because i'm like I can't with you. um like i definitely and like also when i was walking them separately i was getting a crap ton of steps but now i'm walking them together because it's I need I need the I need Bailey to teach the puppy, otherwise the puppy is never going to learn. And that's the main that's just the main thing. Like I, I really need the puppy to learn. Okay. I have an electric sandwich. I have an electric sandwich. Is my volume good comparatively to to the to to the music i want to say it is because i i have it on so we have some 
I don't know how much time we still have. I do have the electric sandwich up. Well, I can't hunt for that because it's shiny locked. Um, I don't want to go for like you guys because the wa Ooh, you're going to be awful to find it. <laughs> Like, the issue is, is that the water is kind of, like, hunting things in the water kind of sucks still. And I could go for Rotom, but Rotom is one of those that I want to do with a, um, with an outbreak because I want to get enough shinies to have every single form. I think that would look the nicest. But the issue is that like water hunts and hunts that take place in lag lake are just so awful right now because it takes so like so much time is wasted by you being like semi lagged out the whole time and because of that i'm just like ah, is it worth it so pikachu spawns here is pikachu I know you guys. Pachirisu, Dedene. I'm worried about Dedene, and I don't want to see Pomo. Okay, Dedene turns literally to sh like shit brown. Uh, so I don't think Dedene is going to be hard to find. Never mind. I thought Dedene was like Pikachu, where they were very similar. I know Voltorb and Electrobe. Those are the two I want to go to for. I know they are blue, so I don't need to look up them. They both are blue. Pachirisu, I believe, turns pink. Yeah, Pachirisu Stripe turns pink. So that's fine. And then I want to say the... Can we not? Every single widget I have was literally... Oh, this is great, and I have no clue where it's centered. And Control Z didn't put it back. Well, thanks, uh, computer, for being so fucking glitchy right now that you basically, like, fucked me over. Correct enough. Chat box I don't care about. Alert boxes, it's fine. Okay. Can we? Can, are we good? Are we good, Serebi? Are we not gonna be a fucking little whore? A little bitch. Pomo, I, I will probably. I won't ignore you because the sandwich has been done. And then Pikachu. Pikachu is orange. Electrode is also blue, right? Yeah, Electrode is blue. Okay, so we're fine. We're fine. We're here. We're queer. Do oops, that, that. This is not the correct. Why were you? I, there's no, I wasn't supposed to be on you, but okay. Survivor may have burned my retinals. Oh my God. Wait, you're playing killer. Wow, that's so rude. You're a killer. Playing killer. I'm sorry that they burned your retinals, though. Your retinas. Why do they call them retinals? Oh my god, I'm just so quirky like that. I'm just so quirky by, like, saying almost every word wrong because I'm just so quirky. Oh. Well. The sandwich is done. <laughs> I spent all that time being like, Hey guys! Hey guys, so today my name is... What was it, Brad Cumberbatch? What? Do you, do you remember that, the na that one name? So, anyways... I was doing this thing, and then this other thing happened, and 
I was just there. What? You can't for what? The voice or what can't you with? That's what I need to know. What can't you? I don't like nuts. Wait, sorry. <coughs> I don't like hot dogs because they scare me. Um, so that's, uh, I guess Brad Cumberbatch is that now. I had a name for that voice. I don't remember. So I have that. And then I have, this is Clarissa. Hello. How are you doing, Zabor? Uh, Mike does not like Clarissa. Uh, Clarissa is, is not Mike's favorite. And then, um, now I can't, I did. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Hi, my name's Dr. Sherman, and I'm a little shit. Basically, that's my Dr. Sherman voice. And then Mike's is different. I like when I do the frog. I don't, I don't know the frog voice. But yeah, I have a bunch of other voices. Like, I did a very poor, a very poor, um. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so basically, voice two and three. And voice one was a slightly different. No, that's it. Tis the, they're the same. But, but how is, how, how am I the same? I, I would say that they're different. I haven't done Clarissa in a very long time. And I also don't know if Clarissa comes, like, comes through the, the microphone well. Are you even, you're not even in a good spot, and I wanted to hunt for you. Are me, you, and Sam. On. The different flavored sprinkles. Hey, you were fucking screaming to the first voice. And that's why, that's why we have the Yam Redeem now. It does nothing. It's just for Dr. Sherman. But Clarissa, Mike does not like Clarissa. Like, Mike literally left the, like, Mike went into the other room when I did that. I'm pretty sure he's calling his sister, but he did leave. You say, they're saying there's none. But, like, this is a bore. I just want it. He was number one. Because I forbid that voice from my partner <laughs> I would genuinely fucking leave I'm not even I'm fucking screaming yeah you don't have to worry about it it's time to bu -bu 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 real but I'm not gonna do it for another uh, two hours so it's fine I don't know what I want to do Told him if he does that voice, I'm taking back my ring. Okay, so the real thing, though, is that he needs to do that voice not in front of you, but he needs to do that voice and then save it as, as like, your ringtone or someone else's ringtone so that, like, every time they text him, that's what pops up. And then, like, you can't, like, that's a loophole because he's not saying it. He's not doing it. It's not his fault his phone's doing it. It's just what he did. But knowing you, I feel like you're going to be like, I will fucking, I will curse you all. <laughs> Am I wrong? I kind of want to go for Marini. Well, I kind of want to do a water one, but the last time I did a water one, it just kept giving me the goddamn dolphin. I don't really want the dolphin again. The issue also with water ones is that anything in, in the water will also spawn. Because we could do Marini and we could do Poison. And I'm pretty sure it is the only thing that spawns on the beach that is Poison. And it's really different. So it would be easy to see. I think I made Zabor leave. Or or they're killing bitches in... In a... Uh, DVD. I also know that there's like flying spots like in here that I just haven't gotten on this game yet. I know there. I think there's one like back here or something. I don't have it. 
it's not like super intuitive like i want i want whatever this is and i'm really hoping that that's not just like a quick one two buck on my shoe like i really hope the uh the dlcs for these games like hold some substance Because I feel like it didn't. So. If I do a bug sandwich. And I. So if I do a bug The issue is, is I have no one here who really shiny hunts besides Zabor. But I don't think Zabor would know this question. So. If I do a bug sandwich. It's only the roly poly bug on this side. Right. Because I think Lar Larvesta is only on this side. And then... Because I would like to get Golden Boy. I really would. I don't know if I, I do is the issue. I got all these shinies I haven't put away. Can you tell that I, I didn't put away last stream? Last last uh two days ago stream shinies i had i had so much time and i didn't do it but yeah i'm like fairly certain if i go like over here i mean if it doesn't do what i want it to do we can just reset but i'm pretty sure golden boy is over here so i want to hunt for them i think the only difference is that the ball is gold God, I hate that you're literally just a slightly off color of. The issue is, is I don't actually know what any of those are supposed to look like as a shiny. And I'm pretty sure I had a shiny. But it's fine. But yeah, like I would like one of those. I think I'm more upset that we have still never found a new Capsicid after we murdered Capsicid. Uh, which is quite sad. Rest in peace, shiny caps, kids. Still, 2022. That we literally murdered with no remorse. It's fine. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure Larvesta cannot spawn over here. So the whole thought process is also remember, remember Frozen. Sandstorms can happen, and they will kill your Pokemon. Got it? Dumb bitch. Could have died. Because that is, that is a thing. Um, I also feel like I'm getting low on on hoobies. I feel like we need some more. I need to go ho hoobie hunting. Which sucks because I don't want to fucking do it. It's so tedious. Uh, bug. Cherry tomatoes. A sudden kern has spawned. One of the best Pokemon in this game. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I need to catch it. God 2.0 Cause everyone knows Bidoof is God one <gasps> We can use an Ultra Ball for it Wow Stooning But yeah I'm upset we're running out of salties I'm upset about the sweet and sour bull crap That like they can't be used to Fuck <laughs> That puts us at four. We can't use sweet and sour together. And I can't. And I like kind of want to keep at least one. I do wonder. We have not tried if two of each of the types work. Because if that does, then like that just saves us, right? 
I caught God 2.0. I'm proud of myself. So I'm I I am worried about these stupid tomatoes. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how their physics work in this game. Like that's terrifying to me that it just did that. That could have just knocked off. It could have just it could have gone off the sandwich. Like that. I don't think this sandwich is going to count now. Cuz we lost it to I know. <laughs> How bad of a sandwich is it? I want to know. I, w I want to know. Can you tell me? I want to know how bad the sandwich is. Thank you. I'll be here all night. What does it give me? Bug, bug, bug. Oh, all, all three still. Wait, what? Sparkling power bug, tidal power bug, and encounter power bug. All three. Okay, well, never mind. It It's such a straw. We didn't even need three of those things. That's how strong that, that sandwich is. But okay, yeah. So see, I don't think Larvesta can spawn on this side of the map. So I think we're basically just free to... To go looking for it. The issue is, is with the sand, I almost feel like, um, I want to say that that is a, oh yeah, because I forgot you can still do those. No, so too many of them are spawning up here, so I'm gonna start riding back. If I knew they were gonna spawn regardless of where I was, I would have done their their hunt second. And done this one first. Because the thing is, is that it's not really that much of an issue that they're spawning in. But. Because, like. It just is what it is. And I'll catch the shiny if it's shiny. I'm not going to save in front of it, though. Like, if we only catch Larvestas and we don't get a, a shiny of the, the dung beetle. Um. I will just reset because this sandwich, the only thing we're going to get that's going to be shiny is, is that right? Like, and then I guess maybe if one of the stat, the, the, the stagnant encounters spawn in, um, shiny, because I want to say that they can be, I'm not, sh I, I'm like not a hundred percent sure. But I want to say that someone hunted Spirit Tomb, like Stagnant Spirit Tomb. Um, and I want to say it's basically just like all you have to do is just like leave and like date skip. Like you have to beat it, like fight it once, I think. And then you have to like, le like go ahead forward a day, like put it in, catch it, see if it has like see what what it's it's like thing is. And then it's like you restart. And then you go ahead a day and then like catch it again. And if they're different, then it's like, then you, you don't even have to catch it. You just like keep walking like up and, and out and like just keep walking back and forth. Like you walk until it's in view. If it's not there, then you leave and then you go, you like, like you re-roll again and then like you leave until you can't see it. Then you, you go home, date, skip a day, come back in, look at it again. If it's not shiny, rinse, repeat. And I believe you can just do that to get like the special Terra types and the, the stagnants like shiny. I, I believe that's what you can do. Um, 
like I haven't messed with any of these stagnant ones that are around me, so I don't believe anything I do can change it. I I am kind of sad that I didn't know that there wasn't really like a fantastic play. Although we're not seeing any any larvestas now, so I guess we're in a pretty a okay place. I say in one spawn. How funny would it have been if I said that and a shiny one spawned? I was killing. Oof! I kind of, I kind of assumed you were killing. I was like, Zabor usually says goodbye if they're leaving, so I'm, I'm gonna assume I would not be a dick like that ever. I would never actually ignore. <laughs> well, no, because like if you had to like hurry and leave, like leave in a hurry, and you weren't able to like say goodbye, like that, that happens at time to times. I think that's a trauma for me. Gotcha. Yeah, because I do, I do 100% understand, like, people, like, not realizing what time it is and needing to get off, like, super quick and they just kind of, like, forget, like, to say goodbye or whatnot. Like, that has happened before. Not in, like, voice chat or anything, but definitely on Twitch, I feel like that happens. It's, like, silence when something that fucked me up a lot. Gotcha. No, I, I get that. I do not have a silent treatment trauma, <laughs> so I I could I could never un uh, understand like what that would feel like. I'd hate myself. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I do I do agree with you though. Like the the silence thing is is, is also a thing where I'm just like, you know, like if you're mad at me, can you at least just like say you're mad at me and tell me you'll talk to me at like a later date when you're not mad because at least I know that you're like processing <laughs> okay I feel like there was a gold something here and yep 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 um but anyways I thought there was a gold thing there, and it wasn't, and now I'm sad because I feel like the, today's I The real issue is, is my shiny charm isn't here. I need a Jessica here ASAP. Jessica is and for always will be my shiny charm. I feel like I feel like I have the best luck when Jessica's here. Yeah, just FYI, in case at some point y'all meet me RO once, I am a hugger and... Just FYI, yeah, I don't care. I'll do either or. Um, I usually do whatever the other person feels com more comfortable with. <gasps> Thank you for hydrating and treating Chef. I greatly appreciate it, support. But yeah, uh, totally. I'm not actually 100% what Mike is. TBH. But I also feel like it's it, like if 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 we ever did or when we did meet like IRL it's not like we're strangers though, you know? Like it's not like, you know, we met through, like, a second party. So, so in the sense of, like, it's not like Mike and I and, and you and your fiance, like, you and your partner were, um, were, like, invited to, like, a mutual event that, like, bandit was hosting but we never knew like but we didn't know each other before right because i feel like that's a little different where like some people are like yeah i i, I don't want to hug someone like i've always been just a, like i don't really care so i just do whatever the the person feels comfortable with to be completely honest it's usually i usually get hugs from girls and guys usually give handshakes let's be real no, that's what I mean, though, is, like, we are already friends. Yes, but even if we didn't, like, 
I became really close friends with like Mally and and like Emmy through um through like hanging out and chatting chatting like on stream and like in Discord. So But what I was saying though is like I can understand if people don't want hugs when it's like you're meeting like mute like you're meeting friends of a mutual friend where the two of you like haven't initially like met and then i feel like at like usually people will like give handshake like it depends on the person though right like some people some people hug and some people are handshakers i still i still solidly stand in the i do not hug randos not nah. yes exactly but what i'm saying though is like I mean, I'll I'll hug like friends of friends if I'm like meeting them for the first time. But I'm still I I still solidly stand with girls give hugs and girls and gays give hugs and guy and and straight dudes give handshakes. Nope, not me, damn. Like I said, I usually do whatever the other person is more comfortable with because I don't I don't personally care. Um Yeah, I've just never really. <laughs> I'm a very like go with the flow person, so I'm like whatever. I don't really give a shit. But I, there are hundred percent people that I've met where I'm like, nah, I'm giving you a handshake, and I've definitely taken the initiative on it. Like in college, I was hanging out with a friend um, in Pennsylvania, and I remember like we went to their friend's like party, and we were <laughs> we were hanging out there, and I like met everyone and whatnot, and like I gave like I gave like this one dude a handshake because I was like, you just seem kind of off. And then I realized, like, for the rest of the night, like, he just had a gun on him. And I was like, cool. Yeah, I forgot that this is a thing. I think I need to head to bed. Oof. No worries, Zabor. Have a great night. Yeah, and I, like, I, like, didn't drink that much that night. Because I was just like, I don't want to get too drunk and, like, say the wrong thing or do something. And, like get on this dude's bad like bad side because he was only like 20 22 23 it's pennsylvania like they can they can just have guns if they have a license so so yeah like and also like growing up in a state where like you can't get guns so like guns are quite rare i would say the least it depends if you go into like the wrong area like th there are definitely guns around but for the most part i feel like there aren't that many <gasps> i didn't even notice it at first hello no i get that but you'd be surprised because they can just like it it's weird I'm just going to chuck Pokeballs at it. We already know. We already know. I'm invisible. If it was a Larvesta. This is what I'm hunting. But if it... I'm hunting two Relors. But if it's a Larvesta, I'm not going to save. Because I've already caught Larvesta before. Well, not before. I've caught both of their... Um, the forms that I need for it so like I am hunting for for two of these so I don't care if if this one like I will say for this one uh yes and no so <laughs> I'm gonna start on on that tomorrow. so so like kind of uh, but not really um, if you want, like, outbreak hunting to go faster, 
then yeah you like you can get them for outbreak hunting and you can get them for like just going out and looking at pokemon because okay so this isn't like the in my opinion the best thing to do like it works for where i am because i can make specific sandwiches to basically force only one pokemon to come up so like for the most part it's only relor that's going to show up here um if if i was on the other side i think it is larvesta only and maybe relor but the thing with larvesta is you can do a fire sandwich and i'm pretty sure larvesta is the only thing that can spawn in this whole desert Dunsparce, frozen you enabler. Crap, I can't get dragged into this. No, I'm sorry. Just just long story short, if you want to be able to do this with like select hunting, it works. You can also just like go out and about and look at things, but that's a little bit harder. But um for mass outbreaks, no, you don't need it. For for anything else, yeah, a little bit, but I have I have guides in, in the Discord for it so and like the ones you should go for so but good night zabor good night good night good night good night and then there were two i'm sorry bandit not done sparse tonight although in theory i could i could do done sparse because <laughs> i can just go hunt in Area zero. Jail. Why am I in jail? I can't even hunt for Dunsparce right now. Also, I'm not going to lie. Not having to make those goddamn tofu sandwiches has been such a blessing. God, those tofu sandwiches are so rough. They are so awful. I also need to be like double cautious because I barely saw the gold, the goldie boy. So like, I would really, 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 really like to not miss it. I also would like to find it so that I can I don't have to do this hunt again. The nice part about Relor, but also like anything that kind of spawns in this desert, I feel like for the most part, it, they're kind of like only here or in the other desert. I mean, Donphan is everywhere, and but like the likelihood of me ever seeing that shiny like actually in the wild, God, I, I would have to be killing them for fun. It is one of the the most basic shinies. Like it does not change. It does, but it changes its change is so insignificant. You might as well just catch a shine like catch a normal one and just tell people it's a shiny and pretend. And when they're like, there's no sparkle when you throw it out, be like, uh-huh, does it really matter? It's shiny. <laughs> I don't want it to be you, Larvesta. I, please. If it is, though, it'll be yellow. The thing is, is that Relor also isn't super hard to catch. Like, he pretty... Pretty easy. Like, Larvesta has the, has the chance to... God, I hate you. Please, please be gone.
One more would be very nice, game. I've given you two sandwiches, and you gave me only two shinies. And I... I would really like at least a third one. Yesterday, you gave me six. Or not yesterday. Two days ago, you gave me six. That was very nice of you. I would like to be able to get... Well, no, I guess I got six and three sandwiches, right? Because the one sandwich, we didn't get anything. Because we did start the other hunt last time. So, that did happen. I Was that a Goldie Boy? I'm going to pretend that it wasn't, and it was just a trick of the light. It's only been six minutes since the last one, so... We are, let's be real. I'm still convinced that these sandwiches should be, you, you should basically be able to get three shinies out of them. Just because shit just spawns so fast. But I know that that's not how odds work, which is why sometimes we get none and sometimes we get six. I also really do feel like it, it depends like what you're doing, where you're at. Like if I was doing this with a mass outbreak, I, I'd be done already. I would have moved on to a different um, area and I would have just started hunting something to for the remainder of the, um, the sandwich. There is the off chance that we even even with an outbreak we wouldn't have uh, found two yet though. I just feel like it's more likely if it is a um, mass outbreak because I think it drops from like one in eight hundred something to like one in five hundred something. Which losing 300, like 300 additional rolls or like chances is pretty big. But the like normal odds of just like walking around, if you're playing like with full odd, full odds, I think is supposed to be like you're supposed to get one like every two and a half hours basically or like two 237 or 227 I don't remember it was like somewhere along that you're supposed to find one just by like the sheer number of just like every Pokemon that spawns if it's like base odds so I don't know how often I it's probably not more than it's probably I don't know if that's one in 496 then one in eight something I don't I don't know what it would be probably one and a half hour realistically <laughs> maybe a little faster but I'm not sure like I there is no way in hell I mean, I guess I could, in theory, go back in time and, like, never turn around, always just keep riding straight and just see how many Pokemon I see spawning in front of me and then basically just ignore, like, anything to the sides of me because I, I wouldn't know if it was already counted or not but in theory like how many pokemon would you see in an hour in not an hour and a half hour and then what would be like the estimated like in theory shiny with like shiny charm and a sandwich just doing this and then same thing with like shiny charm and a sandwich doing um like a mass outbreak
Although I do feel like I'm only going to get one. And I think I've just been getting like super lucky when I've been doing other things. Which is fine. I can have days where I'm not lucky. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I would like to end stream. Well, I guess saying that I could, I, I want at least three shinies and we definitely have time for at least two more sandwiches in theory. It really depends on how long it takes me to choose what I'm hunting, honestly. Like, I think I just need to like figure out what I'm hunting before stream and just like go like bing, bing, boom. And when once I finish hunting something, if I still have any sandwich left, like I should just go wherever there's something that I don't have, like already pre-marked, like as a backup backup. And go there. Like I need to start adding the stuff to my my Pokedex. Like my, my IRL Pokedex so I know how many. And I need to trade over my, my Scarlet ones. Because I don't care a ton if um, my Scarlet ones aren't on stream. Uh, I don't really want to... Um, have to make another gold dango for my scarlet save so that I can start doing raids on it for um, Herba Mystica. And because of that, I'm basically putting myself at like the bare minimum odds for like all of the, the scarlet. Oh! Whoa, okay, that's so nice. Right at the end, too. Here we go. Hello, little guy. Oh, your, your, your golden ball. Um, but yeah, I'm basically putting myself at, like, bare minimum odds. And... Because of that, I don't want to, uh, dancing cat, but because of that, I don't want to, um, like, I'll probably do the paradox forms on stream, but I don't think I will do any of the, um, like, bear, like, variant exclusives on stream. I think I just want to, like, get those, like, done with. Just so that I can have them, like, be a part of it and be like, ooh. And then, you know, because I'm doing... Also, Sir Skit spawned. Um, what was I showing? Because I'm hunting them, if any, if any other shiny spawn just, like, out and about, then, uh... Then I won't have, like, they're less likely to be duplicates. Um, since there's a chance that it, like, the more I hunt on here before I do my Scarlet uh, Shinies, the more likely they are to, uh. Damn. Uh, be duplicates because I'm the the more things I count here the more things I catch here the more the more of a chance that um, if a full odd shiny spawns during a outbreak that I would I would get it should have used a quick bo bandit bandit I will use I will use a quick ball on the next Pokemon that I the next shiny I catch that I don't need the next shiny I catch that I don't need for my decks, I will use a quick ball on. Okay. Well, we have 
two minutes left, so we're just gonna ride around. I'm gonna leave here. Although, how funny would it be if another one just spawned, like, as I was leaving the desert? Would that be so funny if that happened? Yeah, I don't think it will, though. That's very unfortunate. Are there, like, no bug types here? I feel like there's no bug types here because none of them are spawn. There's there's no spawning in. It's kind of funny how like a sandwich just doesn't work in an area. Yeah, no, none here either. I, that's just so wild to me that like there are areas that it it's surprising to me because I feel like every area almost should have like the type of Pokemon that like at least one type I think that would have been really interesting with the whole um uh what's it um there's a Fletchender. The whole sandwich ordeal to like get hunts and whatnot. I don't think we find a Scyther, by the way. I'm just here because everywhere else I went wasn't giving me anything. Scyther has pink flesh, basically. Not actually. Scyther stays green, but like the little joint parts turn pink. It's good to know that if I... <sighs> Hello, Lag Lake. I have not missed you. I'm gonna choodle. Whoa. Wild. But yeah, like I was saying, I, it's nice to know that only Scyther spawns here. So I'm basically just kind of like guaranteed to be able to look for one if I want oh is everything spawning in now yeah we're done done deal Gulpin hello I like kind of want to hunt Gulpin it's kind of like a cute Pokemon <laughs> and it's shiny I like it's shiny form I just want to know quickly what spawn where what else spawns here compared to Gulpin's whatever. But where am I even here? By the bridge. So I'm like here. Gulpin and what's it? Well, it says you don't spawn here. <laughs> oh no. Here? No. What? I'm so lost. Oh, it's a regional exclusive. That's why. It's just poison. Okay. I should have known that, but it's fine. What else is poison that spawns? Toxicroak. I think I only have one of those, though. It's just Toxicroak, and I don't have it, so. I think we save. I think we see if we can get it. Maybe. Maybe we can get it. We need a poison. Green peppers. Okay. Tomato. Oh, good thing. 
Good thing we had three. We ran out. Del oh, delicious. This is exactly what we needed right now. Ooh, wait, no. Always the onions first. I also feel like I, I'm putting the burger in such a terrible place. Like, I know it could go over so much more. Like, I basically removed more than half of one tomato for, for the green peppers. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. We did it. We got it. We peppered up the sandwich. The sandoop. <gasps> Hello. Yes, thank you. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so it's going to be only them. Just kidding. It's going to be only frogs. <laughs> okay, I don't actually know what Toxicroak looks like. But Gulpin is blue. I know what the small what the, the, to the, the small one looks like. It's like teal. I think the the bigger one is also teal. I am just sad because I kind of thought more gulpins would spawn than the toxic crook groups. God, things spawn so weirdly. I always am afraid I'm gonna like miss stuff because like you'll despawn stuff behind you, but like those are new, like those two are new, even though we despawned because the spawns are still behind, like their spawns still behind us, so they're able to. It's hard to explain. Well, not really, but the spawns are still behind us, so things are spawning in on them. Ooh, solar beam. Thank you very much. Like, I just kind of wish they would only spawn in front of us. I wouldn't have to turn back to look. And then there wouldn't be a fear of me running into something in front of me. I also don't get why only, like, why sometimes it only allows two spawns, but other times it allows three. Or if I'm just, like, always kind of, like, spawning one in on the cusp of, like, the outskirts behind me. I don't know. I just feel like because this place is laggy and because like they spawn in like this. The issue of them spawning in like this is only 15 can be on the screen at a time. And I think that because the game's weird, like, even if some of them don't spawn in, they've still, I, I'm pretty sure to the game itself, they've still technically quote-unquote spawned in. Because a gulpin has to spawn with them, or, or whatever the, the big guy is, has to spawn with them. And I think if, if it can't try to place all five, then it won't. 
place another one. And they are groups of five and only three of them are spawning at max at a time. It's just always nerve wracking when like you don't have an area, you just have like everywhere. <laughs> like seeing them out in the wild is so much fun because it's like you get to just like look at it and be like, I, it's finally here. Like it's not, it's not like it just shows up out of nowhere. Like. It is the one gulpin looked like it was shiny, but it wasn't. Maybe more will spawn. I don't know. That's hmm. you yeah, know the ones that are trying to spawn behind me. Please stop. I just want to be able to clearly look at you and go, yep, you're a disappointment. And go about my day. But. I wish. Not I wish. But I kind of, I'm kind of sad that. It wasn't programmed. To like only have things spawn in, in front of you. Only because then you um you don't have to worry about it spawning behind you. And I get it. Pokemon spawn from like all around. But like the ones that spawn like I don't understand how if I was just in that area running through how I wouldn't have seen them as I was walking but but like after I passed like in theory it makes sense that like stuff should only spawn in front of you because like you're walking into that area so like that's where they're spawning it's not how it is obviously that's not how the game was intended to be but hey 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 I forgot I forgot how nice it is to spawn in big groups all at once but I forgot how hard it is when only five stacks spawn because only five stacks spawn Well, stuff like that, it's fine. Tentacool. If the Fletchender wasn't here, I feel like this would be a better place to just like... Oh, not if they can spawn down there. Screw that shit. We leave. But yeah, like everything spawns or feels like it spawns very, very far on the like cusp of everything. And if I can just like look back, that's fine. The issue is trying to like Stay in a position where you can still see forward, though, so that you don't miss anything, like, don't hit anything ahead. How did you spawn? Weird. I do like five stacks when, like, I wish... 
some like some of the things spawned in by themselves that they weren't all groups truthfully I think it's hard when the only, when it's just groups that spawn in Like, shiny hunting isn't hard. It's just a waiting game. <laughs> it's just how patient you can be until the slightly off-colored Pokemon spawns. And sure, it can take like five minutes or it could take, you know, hours. And I feel like we've gotten really um, spoiled this game, to say the least. Like, I think shiny hunting is holding my attention more in this game than it has in past games. Specifically because I'm rewarded with them so quickly. It's the same thing with, like, uh, Legend Arceus. Like... I think if they continue releasing ways to shiny hunt that are like just one singular way where it's like a fun gimmick. It's like, oop, here's a way to like possibly XYZ. I thought that one was a different color for a second. Um... Because then it gives you, like, a fun gimmicky way to do it. Like, we got sandwiches. Which made it basically just, like, easy to run around and look at Pokemon. Which, like, I don't know. It's kind of like Pokemon Snap in a way. Because, like, if you want to put the time and effort in, it, like, rewards you with, like, easier hunts. I'll never know if those were shiny or not. They're spawning so far on the cusp. Like, I really do hate how finicky the, like, spawn in and out area. Like, it just, like, why? Why are they all so far in the distance? I'm going to miss it. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to definitely try to hunt a fair amount of Pokémon, I think, in this game. And then I think I'll probably play a little bit of Legends Arceus and hunt whichever ones I can in that. Just to prep for uh whatever's next. Like I know we can do Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but I I don't believe there was real there might be some ways I think there are some ways that are like easier to hunt with, but I don't know, this game is just so easy to hunt in. The only issue right now is I'm not finding anything. I can't get mad though. I did ask for at least three shinies, and it did give us three shinies. We're also definitely going to have a sandwich after this one, so maybe there will be something else as well. There's there's a shiny. I only one of these, so this is not a double yet. As of right now. I'm just gonna throw this while I, I go look at what they program would have. <laughs> oh I, I just catch it. Okay, well never mind. Krogunk was added to the party and now we save. Gorgeous.
I would have really liked it to be a Gulpin. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think Gulpin's blue shiny just looks nice. The issue with it too is now I have two Krogunks. So, although yes, I can still hunt for Gulpin here. It almost makes more sense for me to go somewhere else where Gulpin spawns. Because I've basically caught, like, I I don't need another Krogunk. So if I, if I spawn in another one, you know. But I could also stay here and then possibly have to throw a quick ball and a Krogunk. A bandit. That's what I told Bandit. Because Bandit has forsaken. I think Quick Balls are so ugly. And I think. I think the reason why I don't like putting shinies in Quick Balls too is because you basically play the game. And once you finish it, if you are a shiny hunter. You basically, like, go... You're, you're basically just trying to, like, level up and catch all the other things that you, like, haven't got yet. So you can get the shiny charm. And you just use the quick ball to do that. Because it is the, it's the fastest quick ball. And then I feel like because I use it to complete the game, it just holds, like not a high value of like the pokeball i like like i one i think that was a shiny and i just missed it um maybe not but i i, I can go back and check but hopefully not um but yeah i don't know i just like i don't want to use I don't want to use it because I don't need I don't need to be quick with catching a shiny if I've if I've spent so much time trying to hunt for one and in other generations that would definitely be different depending on what I was hunting but since we can literally save in front of shinies and get unlimited chances with them I don't really feel like You have an excuse. Unless like that's just like you're you just don't really care because I understand that some people just don't give a shit what fucking Pokeball it's in. Like some people match it like match the the Pokeball to the color of the Pokemon. Um, some people just use quick balls because it's the fastest way to do it. Some people have specific Pokeballs that they like to use like. If I could, I'd use the, the moon Pokeball on on every single shiny, but we only get one of them. And you basically got to trade a shiny to get one of those Pokeballs. The only thing is I wish I, I duplicated them before the duplication glitch got patched. Because then I could have had a couple more and I would have been more inclined to use them. But premieres are my second favorite. Luxuries are pretty okay, but I feel like a lot of people use luxury Pokeballs. And... The premier Pokeballs are the Pokeballs that you get for free. Like, you get them for buying Pokeballs. They are the freebie because they're like, wow, you have an obsession with catching Pokemon. Here's an extra Pokeball that's just... It's it's actually... Like, in all seriousness, I feel like the premier ball is, is the premier ball because it's a Pokeball that they ran out of the red for the top of it and that's why it's white because it just never got colored 
in all seriousness, I also have no real, real understanding to how, like, net Pokeballs would work or, or, you know, like, Great Balls and Ultra Balls and, uh, like, Sea Slash Dive Balls or, or whatever they are or, um... Because, one, I don't understand why there wouldn't be, like, a specific type of Pokeball that just, like, is designed to catch, like, certain types of Pokemon. Like, the Netball catches, like, Bug and Flying types more effectively. Um, the Dive Ball catches, I want to say, um, Water types uh, more effectively. Grain and Ultra Balls just are, are a higher percentage but like even then how how are you what are you doing to the great and ultra balls for them to just like be stronger at catching pokemon and why is it just like a thing that actively works against like all the different types of pokemon in this in like the same way like the multiplier is just the same but then changed for whatever the pokemon is Because that's basically what happens with, like, Great Balls and Ultra Balls, right? And it's the same thing with, like, Dust Balls, which work b works better at night or in caves. Like, I didn't even think about that before. But then, you know, like, we don't have ones that, like, help catch, like, Fairy, Dragon, Steel, f uh, Fire, Grass. Like, we don't have any types of Pokeballs that would, would be just, like, effective on those in general. I guess you could say, like... The Dusk Ball, in a sense, works better on, on all Pokemon because it just depends on if it's night or not. If it only was in caves, then you could say that it basically worked on, like, rock and steel types and maybe some dragons. In in a sense, you know? Because, like, those are what are in caves, I feel like, usually. So you're saying they're effective on those because that's what you can find in caves. But then I guess those ones also kind of change in a sense um, from from like generation to generation because it all just depends on like what is in the caves, right? Because like if Zubats spawn in the caves and stuff, then, then flying types become uh, more predominant. Like also become a thing that, that Dust Balls work more like better on. But that would be also assuming that it's just caves in general that it works on it works on any pokemon because it just needs to be night so there's another thar she blows god i just wanted a gulp in bandit i know you have probably gone to bed i know you're probably asleep but this is for you That is for you, Bandit. I'll clip it for you. <laughs> and I'll save too. I'll save right now. How much time do I still have? 10 minutes. The worst part is I'm afraid that I'll find another one. How funny is that? If, like, I want to catch the giveaway Pokemon in, uh, in Premier Balls because that's, like, putting your best foot forward. I could just catch all of the duplicate Pokemon that I'm going to give away in Quick Balls if I really wanted to and I think that would be like kind of funny in an aspect because I like I hate quick balls so much but on a same notion like if I'm giving if I'm going to be giving out Pokemon soon to people I would like to be giving you guys like good Pokemon honestly or not good Pokemon but I would like to be giving you Pokemon in the Pokeball that I would like to have it in 
you know. I was also confused because I read that there, there was a wild Makuhita that spawned, and then I was like, but I don't, I don't see it. I really do feel like I should go somewhere else. I feel like I'm going to find another Krogunk. If I do, it's just fate. Can you just be you? I just want you to be blue. Just be blue. Please. 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 I'm asking nicely. Why is this one so far away from them sleeping? I don't. And then the other three from that crowd probably, probably disappeared. I will say though, the five stacks are are nice because they they spawn in so it's very easy to notice if they are if it is a shiny or not is what I'm trying to say. Because you get to basically just look at all of them and be like, oh, one of these frogs are not like the other. One of these frogs are sh shiny. Hi, Gulpin. Oh, is it Swalot is the big one? That's the name I was forgetting. But yeah, I like... I was just like one Gulpin. One tiny jelly boy, please. Well, if there was a shiny there, I would have never seen it. Yeah, I think there... The issue is, I feel like... The spawn circle and despawn circle... Are the same length. And I almost feel like, or they're not, but they're, it's very, very subtle. Because um, I almost feel like the spawn in should be a smaller circle than the despawn circle. So that if something does spawn in behind you, like, you do have the chance to catch it. Or, like, stop in time to go see it if you're looking behind you. Because, I mean, there are times I feel like it spawns in and it is it, is, it has despawned before you, you even get to look at it. I get that that's also just like a part of the game, but I don't know. Just a quality of life thing that I, I wish we could see. I think it'd be nice. Catching one that I don't have would be nice game. Please and thank you. Gulpin would be a very nice addition to my roster. I wonder how many spawned down there and I just didn't see them. Just jump down here. And just nothing? Are they just all spawning behind me? Or are they all spawning up there on like the cliff? The game just said mm, no. I don't think I don't think you're going to see any of them for, for the next 20 seconds. Even now I feel like I'm not really seeing them.
Hello. No. No. Hmm. Gopin, you have... You have four and a half minutes to come. Or Swalot. I don't care. Gulpin would be nicer because if I got a Swalot, then I don't have to worry about it. It's always nicer to catch the, 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 the baby. Or not the baby, but like the first evolution. Um, cause you don't have to like evolve them right away. So how I, I don't try to catch for the highest tier first. I try to catch for the lowest. Because you can put them into your Pokedex, like your living Pokedex, and then if you catch another, like if you catch the the um, evolution, great, just put it in. But if you you have like the sm like if you still have the smallest one, you can just level it up to the next tier, and then. If it's a three tier evolution, you have the first and the second tier already. So, like, regardless of what tier you get, you can just evolve in and be done with it. Like the smallest, the smallest tier sometimes I feel like is the one that takes the longest, because if you catch um, the second evolution or the third evolution first, then you have to go back out and find the first one. And if it's a, if like say the the first one only spawns in groups like this with the second one around and i don't think that would ever be an actual issue but if it like that was a thing that happened like you could in theory have a chance of getting the second one again like seeing swallow right now it would be great because it'd be more likely that gulpin would be shiny a second time um there are also probably places where I can hunt just Gulpin or Gulpin and other like Gulpin and assorted other um, poison types probably. But is that <gasps> there he is. Oh, he's so cute. He, he maybe she they. Well, they're so tiny that it's like barely noticeable. I it was I thought it was bluer than that. Quick ball. No, I don't have this one. That is not how this works. It's only if I have a duplicate. And I already did it once this stream. I'm not doing it again. But yeah, getting Gulpin is better because now if I get Swalot or Gulpin, I can have the full the full group of it. So once we catch it, they 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 attack. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Please let me leave. <laughs> I have a minute 30. The likelihood of seeing another shiny in that time is so slim to none. But on the, like, at in the same notion, though, because we just saw three shinies in this one, this one sandwich. But if I could find another Gulpin or Swalla in that time and finish... The gulpin line, that would be very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Will it happen this time? Probably not, but that's okay. Rip Sam not being here, though. For, it's the same as literally a poison poison types are Sam's favorite types so the fact that we are hunting poison types without Jessica and we were able to get three in one sandwich just proves that Jessica is here in spirit only for the poison types though nothing else 
I honestly have no clue what Swalot's shiny looks like. So for all I know, if it's like an almost identical shiny, there's a good chance we could have missed it. Like, I saw that that blue gulpin spawned. But at the same time, that thing looked so close to its original that I was like, wait a minute. If it was if it was not night, I think it would have been easier to see. But it was it was darn near impossible to see. I think it'd be funny if we either A saw one right at the end or right when everything else starts spawning in that we just see a shiny of a different one. But yeah, no more for that, but we got six out of it. Six, three. Oh boy. I can count. I'm very good at counting, as you can tell. Oh no, we, yeah, we have six total so far. We have time for one more sandwich. What do we want to hunt? That is the question. Hmm. Do, 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 do. And I kind of want to go for Ralts. I want to check something quickly, but it's probably going to be Ralts. I thought that was the only place it could be. I wanted to double check. Is it here? Is, does, is this the, the square? So it's route spot. Yeah, okay. So it's Psychic and Fairy. Igly Buff and Meryl. And Azur Azuril all spawn there. Lake and River. Their town only. Their Lake and River. Their Lake River Grass Beach. And this is for fairy. Fido is also town. But the thing, oh, ha Hatina also spawns, but only at lakes. And I don't think we'll spawn where we are. A Morgrim has spawned for anyone who wants to guess that. I think we're going to try a Psychic. Do I have this? I do. Okay. So I think we're going to try a Psychic Sandwich. Um, and yeah, we'll see if it works. I believe that we can go here. I think we can make the Sandwich. I think only routes will spawn. I would love three of them. But I won't complain for one or two. That's not what I meant to do. We'll save. And then we're going to go where we can make a picnic. So I've seen Route spawn. Yeah, see, Route spawns there. I want to double check that that's not a... Uh... Guaranteed encounter. <coughs> Excuse me. That is a route fixed encounter. <laughs> So we're going to still try. It says town biome. So I assume that this still will work. 
We're gonna save here. We're gonna save twice. So I'm like paranoid like that. Oh wait, I need to buy green peppers first. <laughs> Otherwise, this will not work because we don't have the ingredients to make our sandwich. I'm going to assume I have enough onions for this. If I go to the onion thing first, then like whatever. So that's basically fruits. I feel like this is gonna be where it is. No. No, it is. What about onion? Red onions here. They're not normal onions. I think we're fine. Thanks, come again. Okay, bye. Oops. I've been playing this game for so long and I still fuck up. Like, where the things go. Okay, there we go. <gasps> hey, man, how is it going? Keep. Kitty, Kitty, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to, welcome to the Rage Baby Pickle Squid Army. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And I am doing pretty A-OK. -okay, uh, just hanging out in shiny hunting, honestly. Slightly a bit higher than I wish I was right now. Um, so it's a vibe. But, you know, hanging out. We've caught six shinies so far. Um, I'm going to try. I'm gonna end with a, a sandwich to try to catch routes, hopefully. Uh, that's what we, that's what, that's what, that's who we are trying to, uh, go for right now. What is it that I need? Onion. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're hanging out, you know, Oop. using some Herba Mystica sandwiches. I caught two, uh, two rollers, um, iron th thorns, I think iron thorns, tyranitars, iron thorns. By the way, I was lurking around and came across your stream and maybe I can help you out with your Twitch custom graphics even more. I run the biggest graphic agency for streamers. Oh, possibly. Um, I'm not, I'm not looking at the, at the moment to, um, to to redo my graphics but when i when i'm ready to i'll definitely i'll definitely hit you up just because i kind of do it more for for fun at the moment and i'm i'm not really looking to put put a ton into the stream for now at least And it was a tasty frozen original like always. And our powers. Okay. So if this worked, then I understand. I appreciate your consideration. Just let you know. I am still willing to offer free logo design for your channel. It's a great way to help you stand out on Twitch and make your channel look more professional. Would you be open to giving me a small shout out on your social media in exchange for my services? Yeah, we can talk about it. Uh, do you have a Discord? We can talk about it more off stream if you want to. Okay, so I... It's just that route. Are there no psychic types here? Does it not count? Tell me routes is going to be one of those. I... 
What's your Discord? I can send you my portfolio in there. Give me, give me a second. I will have to get it for you after stream because I forgot that I have streamer mode enabled, so I cannot, I cannot get it at the moment. Okay, so what counts as town then? How do I, what counts as a town? Can I, oh, there was a route right here. I saw it. I saw the little hoe. It was right here. See, look at him. Look at him. Do, do they just fly away? Do they run away? Can I not get rid of you? All right, here's my Discord. Okay, awesome. I want to say picnicking is probably is probably the way to go. Oh, these bitches are just gonna run into me. Oh, I'm just gonna waste my sandwich. Okay. Is this... Is picnicking the best way to do this? I don't know. I don't think so. So many less spawned in. The only issue is that it's like only this area. The other area does not work. But I do wonder. I kind of want to check if it works well I can just do this right that just despawns them <laughs> so it's good to know that routes just doesn't like teleport away I wonder if it has only teleport if it has just teleport or if it has like something else the one under the tree looks like it Looks like it was shiny, but it wasn't. Hmm. Kind of wish they, they spawned in faster. <laughs> Not gonna lie. to check they're so tiny it's so hard to say and <laughs> to see like I don't know why I feel like routes should be bigger I don't feel like routes is proportionate to the actual size that it's supposed to be Like, I feel like it's supposed to be bigger than that. The one under the tree always, always fucks with me. But the red would be yellow and the, the green is blue. Hello? Is just nothing spawning in? Am I just like in the wrong spot? Are they all in the wall? Like none spawned over there. Like two spawned in there. I don't get it. I do kind of want to check if 
they're somewhere else than here, though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like this area. Because I don't think anywhere here is gonna spawn them. <laughs> I think it is only that back corner. But I don't feel like it is just that corner because it says that it also spawns near the... Like, do you spawn over here? Yes. There's one there. But I don't think... It, there's many spawns. I think that one area we were at is the is the best area. Well, no, I guess not. There are more spawning here. But yeah, no, I still think the other ones over here is better. Which is so like crummy. <laughs> it's not that good. I swear to God, it's the God. It's the. It is the shade of under the tree every time. The first one that spawns in, I look at it. It looks like a shiny. Trips me up. I just wish more would spawn in. <laughs> or they would just spawn in quicker, honestly. On a good day, I get six and six. But that doesn't happen quite often. It's kind of crummy. This is the only area Ralph spawns in two. It's like, can you, can you be in an area that's a little nicer than this? And I'm pretty sure Ralts can have an outbreak too. So, like, is it just in the town basically? Because I feel like this is where it would be. This is not fun. In front of the rock is the best. I think. Yeah, they're they're definitely like spawning in maybe. I'm not actually sure. Probably. I wasn't actually expecting one to spawn in. <laughs> I got to double check because if there's one over there, it's like, can I, can I figure out how to do it? <gasps> Hello, routes. Thank you for coming home. I think we got like 17 minutes or something like that left. And that's one. I didn't mean to. Oh, I thought I picnicked. I was like, mm. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we have officially caught more Pokemon. We, we still have over 20 minutes. Damn. We've caught more Pokemon than last stream now. Okay. In front of the rock is lucky. It's the good... It, it's where the most routes is spawn in. But yeah, see, routes is like totally different. <laughs> Even though it's just the head. The routes is a completely different, a different color.
And it's nice and vibrant too. The only issue is, is we need two more of them. And two more doesn't seem like a lot, but there's a good chance that we probably won't see another one with this sandwich. And if we do, it might be one, and we need two. But I know that I'm pretty sure that, like, Carlia and maybe Gallade gets a hunt or something like that. I don't remember. An outbreak. Because there's, there's that chance, too. But I would like to get at least one more. One more would be nice, two would be fantastic. But beggars can't be choosers, and like I said, we already got more than last stream, so we're already we're already ahead. I feel like going forward we should like Well no, that's not necessarily true, because the best stream was Definitely a Dunspar stream because we get we get so many. So many during those. But I also don't remember like if that was within the same time limit. Although do we care about time limit? Is it, or or do we just care about like how many shinies we get in a stream and, and if the stream has had the most shinies ever. That's that's the real thing, right? Like I don't really know. Hello? No. None of you, but it's okay. One day, another one of the chosen children will be, will come, come forth. Only the elites can be a part of my, my posse. Please. No. It said not today. It said no nuts. No, no. Hop hip, how did you. One, hop hip, how are you here? Two, why did only one spawn behind me? Three, are, are they spawning behind the tree and I'm just not seeing them? <laughs> Just one more. We're in area one. Oh no, that means it's only going to give us one, doesn't it? We're not going to be able to get one more. Wait, why are you... I want to say that those are stagnant. Although it would be funny. Oh, I see why. Because there's Fletchenders spawning over in the corner. There's stuff spawning back there that I guess Ralts can't spawn on. And because those are spawning in, that's why. Same with same with the, the Spideys in the trees. Damn it. 
Damn, I have to be looking over there too. To be looking there in case. I never knew. How many shinies do you think we missed because of that? 19, 47, 152. Damn. We missed so many. There are definitely routes spawning behind the tree, though. Like, 100%. Okay, maybe not all the time, but there definitely was one behind the tree. Okay. Wow, so many of them spawned. How rude. It's supposed to be me and Routh's time. You like... If I do that... Does only routes spawn? Kinda. <laughs> Is this the spot? Like right here. Like, kinda. It, like, kinda works. They do not spawn in as fast, I feel like, as me standing here. She was just all the ones that spawn up there that I now know of. And up there, too. Ugh. It's a hard life of a shiny hunter. This is the only place, and I'm plagued with Pokemon that, that aren't the type still being able to spawn. Like, how are you even able to spawn in? I don't get it. <laughs> I guess it's because Routes isn't programmed to be spawned up there. So, even though in my theory that is town, I guess the game itself doesn't classify that, that the area up there right next to town is town. And therefore, Routes does not spawn in there. But I also feel like it said Routes spawns by, like, the... Um, what's it called? The, uh, the lighthouse? So... I don't get... Why I wasn't able to like get it to spawn on that side of town either. Town hunts are weird. If this is how town hunts work, man, it's kind of rude. <laughs> like I'm in town, stop spawning stuff up there. Just give me the routes as man. Issues is they can spawn up there or they can spawn behind me on the hill or even in the tree. Like so many and now I now it makes so much sense why sometimes only like six of them spawn. Which isn't the end end of the world, it's just annoying to say the least. Hello? No. But the nice part of finding at least one route is that now regardless of what I find in theory uh, doesn't really matter anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure 
the most likely thing that I find is Curlia. I, I kind of want to go look for Curlia for the last 10 minutes. Because Curlia spawns like over here. And in theory, I I have routes and I have a Curlia. So all I really need is like one more Curlia. You just teleport away, right? No? Okay. But in theory... If I catch the opposite gender Curlia, then I don't ever need to, um, like, I can just catch whatever and then have a Gardevoir and a Gallade. And then I already have a Ralts. A Curlia is the only thing that spawns right here, so... It'll be a while. I don't get why there are places. Like, I don't know why there was no music by the lighthouse. Like, I don't. I don't understand why. Uh, I guess it's because of the ocean. Very peaceful. But I don't get it. I don't think, I don't think that's needed. I'd rather just have music. Give me like a sea shanty. And why is it taking so long for the music to come back? Well, this is the only place to hunt her, so... Well, them. And the quieting me. I don't. Oh, it's so awkward. <gasps> and the only reason why I go this far is to reset cle like, completely. But it's so awkward. A wild Bonsley has appeared. For anyone who does not have a Bonsley. I mean, Curly is the same, though. So, you know, it's going to be a... I wonder if some of these are dittos. They're not. But how funny would it be? Like, I'm pretty sure you just do a normal sandwich to hunt for Ditto, and then I want to say that Ditto is probably just itself. And then I wonder if, like, because I saw a thing where Shiny Ditto was a shiny version of a different Pokemon, but I wonder if it just, like, happened to, like, choose a quote-unquote shiny to duplicate and that's why but then it was also shiny itself but i kind of feel like since zorua doesn't show you if it's shiny because it's just copying a pokemon around it i feel like in theory a shiny zorua could duplicate another shiny but i feel like Ditto is just transforming itself, so if Ditto itself is shiny, then whatever it transforms into would also, in theory, be shiny. Um, like, that's how it makes sense to me, but that's probably not what happens. 
I'm also just curious if you use a normal sandwich, like, are the dittos themselves or are the dittos, like, transformed into other dittos around them? Because ditto does not exist as itself in the wild. Um, it exists as, it only exists as another Pokemon in this area. So, <laughs> is that, <laughs> that? Is that like how it works? Cause I'd be I'd be intrigued to say the least. The music like just stopping because we get too close to the sea is weird. It's such a weird thing. I like I'm like mm. Oh, so ones can spawn behind the lighthouse. Wild. I did not know. I did not know at all. Oh, Carl, yeah. Will you uh, will you show up before before the sandwiches end over? I used the finest bread and the the most oniony onions to make the sandwich, and I suffered greatly eating it just so I could find you. Ignore the fact that I already found a route. But I'm looking for you. The thing that I think is funny is like. So I like. I get it. In a sense. We you know we eat the sandwich. And because we eat the sandwich. We. You know. Have the ability to, f to 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 greater our chances of finding a shiny. But on like the same notion though, like, aren't the Pokemon supposed to be a trap? Like, like I don't get how how us eating the sandwich would attract these specific types of Pokemon. Like, wouldn't it make more sense if we made the sandwich as like a lure? Make more sense to attract the. Pokemon. Like, am I wrong? Because I kind of feel like that would make more sense than what is happening. What? The Pokemon are attracted to your sandwich bread. Oh, they're attracted to my, my garlic bread. Well, I've had... Uh, why is Curly... Uh, why, why are psychic types attractive to... Nine fucking bulbs of garlic of of onion. Because it it's maybe Italian. I don't I don't think so. Oh, it almost you saw it. You saw it it spawned on the cusp. It tried it wanted to not come home. Oh, I almost missed that. Oh, we don't catch it. Does it just teleport away? I think that'd be really funny. It doesn't. It attacks us. But it has full HP, which is quite unfortunate for you. Can you just stay in the Premier Ball, though? It probably does have teleport, which is funny.
I should just attack it at this point. But I haven't. <laughs> Since it doesn't have teleport, it can't just teleport away from me, and I've just wasted like four turns. I'm pretty sure this catches, yeah. Gorgeous. We save. We have 40 seconds left. The likelihood of us finding a shiny is so minute, but it has happened. So I'm not going to I'm not going to say that it can't happen. I'm more terrified because we're so lucky we didn't miss the shiny. Like it was so likely for us to miss the shiny because of where it spawned in. And I'm so happy we turned around to look. Because if we didn't, we would we would have missed it. Would have been gone. Gone to the gone forever. But through the power of friendship, we, we persevered. Okay, terrified. Okay, the real question is. This is a girl. The Routes is also a girl. Okay, so we, we, it does not matter which Curlio we get next time. Regardless of which one we get, we are guaranteed both of them. So that's cool. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to see if there's anyone to raid. Hmm. No, I do not. I do not have anyone for tonight, my friends. I do apologize. But on that note, where is it? Where are the raids? On that note, thank you so much to everyone who came by to hang out. If you haven't already followed, hit that follow button if you want to see more content from me. If you want to hang out with me offline, click on exclamation point Discord into the chat or click the Discord link down below. My social media for Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok are also all down below if you want to follow me on any of those. And I do hope to see you guys next time. Have a great night.